York. Tonight, a new Quinnipiac poll shows Americans are divided on sending more military aid to Israel. 46% uh, 46 of voters say they're in support, while 44% oppose sending more aid. And it comes as Pope Francis speaks exclusively to CBS News about the Israel-Hamas war. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here in studio with more. Dick. Well, Christina Maurice, indeed, it is extremely rare for the Pope to grant a sit-down interview, but he spoke to Nora O'Donnell about his feelings about the conflict as the war is already in its seventh month. This as Hamas releases another hostage video showing an American-Israeli citizen with his devastating injury. Can you help negotiate peace? I can pray. I do. I pray a lot. Pope Francis speaking exclusively to CBS Evening News anchor Nora O'Donnell about the Israel-Hamas war. The Pope has condemned Hamas's October 7th attack, but he's also called on Israel to use restraint. There are now pictures of starving children coming out of Gaza. What about those that call that a genocide? Genocide. Genocide. Every afternoon at 7 p.m., I call Gaza to the parish. There are about 600 people there, and they tell me what's going on. It's very hard. Very, very hard. Food goes in, but they have to fight for it. It's very hard. The pontiff's comments come as Hamas released a propaganda video. Shalom. Goldberg Polin. It shows American-Israeli hostage Hirsch Goldberg Poland for the first time since the October 7th attack. CBS News cannot confirm when the video was taken or what pressure Poland may have been under to record it. His parents, wearing tape marking the number of days he's been gone, were overwhelmed. Hirsch, if you can hear this, we heard your voice today for the first time in 201 days. And if you can hear us, I am telling you, we are telling you, we love you, stay strong, survive. Poland was badly wounded during the Hamas attack and lost part of his arm. We're relieved to see him alive, but we are also concerned about his health and well-being, as well as that of all of the other hostages and all of those suffering in this region. Now, reports say the Biden administration received the hostage video Monday, two days before Hamas made it public. The FBI is said to be examining the video for any potential evidence and information regarding Poland's captivity. Christine. Thank you, Dick. You can see much more of Nora's interview with Pope Francis on 60 Minutes on Sunday, May 19th.